So GPT me has finally created the app for me and I was capable of generating this to do list app with a single prompt that I gave it. And this is where I can add a new task and you're able to actually list out all the tasks that you have within this panel and you can actually check mark this to complete the task and it added the animation it added the color scheme with just a single prompt. If you've been watching my channel you know how much I love covering AI agents as they have the power to enhance every aspect of your life from automating tasks to acting as your personal assistant. These agents can practically do anything. And today I have a new AI agent framework that is an open source project called GBT me an AI agent right within your terminal that's capable of doing almost anything from generating apps, using it for rag research, recoding and so much more in this example it's showcasing how gpt me is able to utilize web searching capabilities now this is where this personal ai assistant is capable of doing this right within your terminal and is equipped with a couple of powerful tools including web search capabilities so that it can help you in basically finding information quite easily right within your terminal and you can see that you can chat along with this terminal to give you the right answers now obviously this is a more generic retrieval of information but you can utilize it for coding based tasks where you can have it so that it could refer to a documentation of a certain package and you can have it so that it could import the package with web searching capabilities essentially gpt me is a lightweight command line app and it's something that lets you interact with an ai agent that's equipped with powerful local tools and basically this serves as a copilot for your computer right within your terminal. It's capable of running code, editing files, browsing the web, using vision and so much more, which is something that we'll take a look at in a bit. Something that is quite unique with this framework is that they have a self-correcting feature where output is then fed back to the assistant and this is gonna allow for it to respond and self-correct. So you can think of this as a self-evolving AI agent framework. It also enables you to use several LM providers. There's many smaller features that you can take a look at within their GitHub repository. And essentially my favorite feature is that you have the ability to easily extend this framework where you can implement further tools to assist you in these various categories. Now in this example, they basically use GPT me to create a GitHub bot. And this is something that can assist with PR requests and you can have it so that it can operate within repositories. And this is something that you can see within this example where the developer of this project was able to have GPT me deployed right within GitHub. Something cool to note is that it also has a tiny web UI with basic functionalities. And this is something that we'll set up as we further install this onto our computer. So now let's get started and showcase how you can install this locally. What you want to do is fulfill the prerequisites. You need to make sure that you have Python 3.10 or above installed on your local computer. Make sure you have Git as well as the pip install command. So once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, you can then go back into your GitHub repository, uh, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. What you want to do first is simply install the package with pipx. So copy this over here. So simply copy this and paste this into your, your Ubuntu. A command prompt once that's done you can get started by copying the gpt me command and pasting it in so once you paste it in it's going to ask you to start a new conversation or load the previous one in this case we never had any previous ones so let's load it in by pressing a new conversation and here it's going to request us to choose a provider from openai anthropic as well as open router and like i said Get your provider ready and paste in your API key. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new API key from OpenAI. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste this in. Once I paste this in, I'm gonna click enter and it's gonna then successfully set the OpenAI API key. Now, before I even get started with installing this, I wanna take a look at the server. So I went along and I copied the web UI. I started the server up as well, but you need to make sure that you also have Flask installed. So once you have done that, it'll prompt open on your local host. So let's go over and this is GPT me uh, with a simple web UI. This is where you can start conversations with this left hand panel. You can give it a conversation name. So in this case, let's just do a basic AI agent and let's click on OK. 
So let's actually now see what we're capable of generating with this web UI. So I went along and I sent over a prompt to generate a simple to-do list app for me. And I told it to generate the code and make it modern and sleek. So in this case, you can see that the assistant first starts off by setting up the React application, which you can see the, all the edits being made. It's gonna run the command for you as well. And basically at each step of the way, you can keep on pressing generate to have the system or the assistant execute your commands for you. And this will keep on generating the different contents for your web app. So once that's finished generating, I'll open up the app. And while I'm executing all of these commands, you can see all the changes being made within your terminal. So GPT me has finally created the app for me and I was capable of generating this to-do list app with a single prompt that I gave it. And this is where I can add a new task and you're able to actually list out all the tasks that you have within this panel. And you can actually check mark this to complete the task. And it added the animation, it added the color scheme with just a single prompt. So now that we have a good idea of what the web UI is capable of doing, let's take a look at certain trans or not transactions, but certain prompts that we can send within the terminal. So let's start up the server or not the server, but the agent again by typing in the GPT me command. We can either load up our previous conversations, but right now we want to start off with a new conversation. So let's click enter. One really annoying thing that I was capable of finding is that every time you send in a certain type of prompt it's gonna come back with the windows sound effect which is really annoying so please bear with me at that certain time when it sends that sound effect but now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating the game of life and seeing what it's capable of generating so let's ask it please create me the game of life send this in and right now it's going to focus on generating the code for me so this is the basic implementation for it and it's going to slowly generate this. So now it'll ask you to even install certain packages for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes and click enter. It's going to start installing it for me. And as it finishes generating, it's going to make the package file for me as well. So I have now copied this code and let's click play and let's see if it's actually functional. So in this case, we're going to be able to see it working within this game over here. And it looks like it is definitely operational. Now, the great thing about this agent framework is that it's capable of doing almost anything. Like I mentioned at the start, it can edit files, execute commands for you, similar to how Ader is doing it. And there's so much more to it, which I definitely recommend that you take a look at the documentation because it gives you more ideas as to what you can do, such as taking a look at the demos or the tools that they have implemented, as well as how you can utilize various providers. You can even have it so that you can use a local provider such as Olama or LM Studio, and you can connect an open source model so that you don't need to use a closed source provider and pay for the API key. But that's practically it guys. This is a great new framework that you should definitely take a look at. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access our private Discord as well as accessing various sorts of AI subscriptions to tools for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.